Part 2 Chapter 10 The Straight and Narrow Way Beyond Mortal Boundaries It is the straight and narrow way that leads to life eternal. It is the road of unutterable glory that so few find because they are seeking with their mortal senses and their personal unenlightened understandings. They are not seeking with souls, alerted and with a humility that is enfolded in praise and love and gratitude and increasingly exalted through joy. This is the road that the wicked can never cross over, though a fool need not err therein. It can never be traveled by the self-righteous. Each church believes it alone has the keys of this sacred way of life, yet each in turn has helped to fill the cemeteries with their dead. Thus saith the Lord, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirits and have seen nothing. Ezekiel 13.3 For they are only false prophets bearing witness of themselves with eyes single to their own glory and not to the glory of prime creator. These cannot travel this sacred pathway of prime creator. As one travels the straight and narrow way, it becomes increasingly glorious. It is a path of such praise and joy and ecstatic glory. The darkness is overcome and forever left behind. Yet this great ecstatic joy is held and maintained in a majesty of divine power, not in outward manifestation. Those who travel this pathway in loving humility and increasing joy reach the point of faith where all promises are fulfilled. It is the point of faith in that all doubts and fears have been overcome and eliminated. It is the point of supreme everlasting power. It is where faith itself is transformed into knowing. It is the point where one truly comprehends all things and knowledge is power. Knowledge is power when applied. It is the point of unutterable glory. It is the unveiling of man's soul as he stands face to face with prime creator. Purified, even as Christ is pure. Glorified, as Christ is glorious. For he will be a co-heir with Yeshua Christ, a joint heir with the Son of God, of prime creator. As one reaches this point of faith where he is wrapped in the power and glory of his maker and is caught up to dwell with prime creator, he can either choose to remain in the celestial realm or return to earth to do the greater works that Christ promised. Christ explained that those who truly believed would not only be able to do all the works that Christ did, yet go on to do the greater works because he was going to his mother, father. Yet it was not explained at that time that those who fulfilled the works of overcoming, even as Christ overcame, would be privileged to return to earth if they so choose chose. And only by this method could they possibly do the greater works. And Prime Creator's word cannot return to Prime Creator unfulfilled and void. Therefore, you who choose to lend your strength to the complete fulfilling of Prime Creator's word and to fulfill all the promises, the very heavens are awaiting you, and the earth and all that in them is. So marvelous is this promise to do even greater works than Christ did. It has been veiled down the centuries in a mist of unbelief. 
in 2,000 years, none have opened up their eyes to either see or comprehend how literal, literal these words are or exercise the faith to even try to prove them. No one in 2,000 years of preaching and listening has ever done any of the works that Christ did, let alone go on to do the greater works that Christ promised. Try to imagine what the greater works would be. Then know this. They are still incomprehensible to mortal minds. Yet how could anyone hope to become a joint heir with Yeshua Christ or a co-heir that means co-equal, unless he did do the very works that Christ did and then went on to do even greater works. How blind the world has been and how steeped in the dark lethargy of mortality and unbelief. Rend the veil of unbelief and you will know and be able to do the greater works as promised. Man, when he has traveled that straight and narrow path, that Christ is the pattern, the light and the glory, truly reaches the point of faith, where he is wrapped in the power and glory of his Maker and is caught up to dwell with Prime Creator. And only those who walk that straight and narrow path of praise and love and glorious gratitude as their joy and ecstasy increases can possibly reach the point of faith, where they can be made perfect as they are ordained of prime creator and sent forth to do the greater works. These promises of Yeshua Christ have been waiting down the centuries for those with enough humility to travel so glorious.